Hi everyone, I'm Alice and I'm back here again with one of my art journal pages in this video that is my monthly video in English. In this case, I'm showing you how to create a nice and colorful background using watercolor crayons and a non porous surface. Uh, to make a surface like this, uh, the simplest way is to use gesso. You apply first a layer of gesso, you let it dry, and then you can color using your, your, your crayons or even your uh, watercolor markers or your watercolor pencils. So um, I'm applying my crayons using either my fingers, my slightly wet fingers, or a baby wipe. Um, if my fingers are too wet, you will say that the crayon is pretty be removed. As it happens when I do it on purpose, um, on the clouds, you will see it. But uh, first of all, before making the clouds, you have to be sure your background is completely covered with the design you want to make. Once the background is ready, um, it's time to create the quote, the title of our background, the title of our page. So, um, in this case, I decided to choose the song uh, Let the Sunshine In from the, the film Hair, that was mainly a, a common for that song and for the, for the Aquarius song. And that is uh, just mainly because um, that song Let the Sun Shine In got stuck in my head and it looped around and around so many times I had to finally find a way to remove it from my head. So I decided to change it, to transform it into, to transform that earworm to an art journal page. So I can, I can finally remove it from my from my system, and strangely it worked. I don't know if that the kind of um, activity can help you to remove the earworms you may have, but with my case it worked. So I created the letters um, in another page. I color them with the same watercolor crayons, and then I cut them and stick it here. As you can see, I also decided to color a hippie then, the Volkswagen transporter that became so well known in the 60s. And at the end, I also decided to, to draw um, with a marker some silhouettes dancing near the van, because I thought the van was, was, very, well, was very lonely, being there. Um, so I can imagine that um, these are the owners dancing the song that got stuck in my head. So uh, they are just having fun near the van. It was a very simple and easy background to make, and it's also a very uh, they are very simple pages. So I truly think you can do something like this. Maybe not um, 60s related. Maybe not with the hippie movement. But you can see that mixed media pages and art journal pages 
uh, must not be so difficult or so complicated to do. Those pages are really easy to make and they are also very, very nicely done. So if you want to make them, I encourage you to make them. And of course, we see us in the next video next month in